Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to my Swift series. In this video, we're going to be talking about for loops. Now, let's say that I had to print um, a certain statement five times, okay? Let's say it's hello. So I could go ahead and say print hello, do this once, copy, paste, 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 five times, and that would print that hello five times. Is this code effective? Sure, it works, right? But this isn't clean code. There's a better way to do this. That's where for loops comes in. Now there's two types of for loops, one that iterates through numbers and another that iterates through a data structure. When I use the word iterates, I mean basically goes over. For example, if I have a range of numbers from one through 10 and I say to iterate over them, I'll go ahead and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's what iteration is. So using our for loop, the first type of for loop is iterating over a series of numbers. And the way you do that is you say for I, in some range okay so for some variable name in some range and that range you denote by the starting number and the ending number so one for i in one dot 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 ten okay print i okay so let's go ahead and run this first and see what happens and immediately as you see we get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fantastic so what just happened here our for loop says that okay for some variable, we this variable can be called anything. Let's go ahead and just call it num for now. For num in one dot 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 ten, and what one dot 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 ten gives you is going to be a list of numbers from one through ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. So for every single number in that list, print it out. All right. So that's the first type of for loop. Again, very very straightforward. If I want to print out, let's say the from ten to twenty. Okay, I could say for num in 10 to 20 okay and notice i'm using three dots okay so that's the sort of notation you have in swift three dots print out num again and this will give me one through ten and then it's going to give me 10 through 20. so one thing you guys should notice is that if you're coming from a different language sometimes this last number won't be counted especially in python if you said for i in range for a certain number that number is normally not counted however in swift it takes the initial and it takes the end. It's all inclusive, okay? So that's one thing you guys should definitely remember. Now, what if I want to print out all the even numbers, okay? If I wanted to print out all the even numbers, we can use something called the stride function. So for num in and then the stride, okay? So the stride basically tells you where you're starting from, where you're ending, and what are you skipping by, okay? So we're starting from zero we're going to 10 and we're skipping by two, I want to print out every single num. So this sort of stride feature allows us to print out all the even numbers. And it allows us to basically skip through any number or increment by a specific number. If I want to print out all the multiples of fives to 50, I'd go ahead and say from zero to 50 by fives, okay? So the stride function is very nifty when you want to increment by a specific number. And in a very similar way, you can decrement. You could say from 50 to zero by negative five. It works the exact same way. You can either add, you can subtract. And now as you can see, we have 50, 45, 40, etc. So that's the first type of for loop, okay? You have iteration over numbers. The second type of for loop is iterating over a list or a dictionary. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring back our shopping list. So var shopping list is equal to um, apples, we had oranges and we had bananas, right? So that was a shopping list. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and iterate over this sort of array. And I can say for item in shopping list, okay, for item in shopping list, print item. So what this does is for every single object in my array, that value gets associated to the variable and then I can perform some function on that variable. So I get apples, oranges, and bananas. So again, those are the two types of arrays. The first one is iterating over a list of numbers. The second one is iterating over a data structure. I can do the exact same thing with dictionary. Going back to our legend, we had what? Blue is ocean. We had uh, green is land and so on and so forth. I can do the exact same thing with my legend. So I can say for um, item in legend, okay? Let's go ahead and print out item. Let's see what happens we should be seeing something of the sorts of either the keys or the values. Okay, so now we have the key blue value ocean, key green value land. And then if I want something more specific, I could say item.keys. 
If I want to get every single key of my dictionary, this is one very easy way to do it. For item and legend, print item.key. It's going to run and I'm going to get blue and green. Awesome. So that's basically why you use for loops to iterate over something, whether that be numbers in our case of iterating through a series of numbers or iterating through a certain series of arrays or data dictionaries or a specific data structure. All right. There's one last thing I want to show you guys before I end this lecture, and that is the enumerate function. So right now when we're iterating through an array, we just get the value. What if I want to get the index of every single item as well as the value? That's where the enumerate function comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and say for index comma value in, in shopping list dot enumerate or enumerated. Okay. So for index comma value in shopping list dot enumerated print out index print out value. Okay. So it's very, very simple, but I just want to show you the power of enumerated. So it shows banana zero apples, one oranges, two, or I'm sorry, zero apples, one oranges, two bananas. Okay. So that's what enumerated does. It allows us to get both the index as well as the value we're getting from before. And this is very, very useful when you want to find out the position at which your item is in, in the array, something like that. All right, let's do a quick recap guys for loops. They're used to iterate over something, whether that be a list of numbers over here, or it be a data structure, whether that's arrays or dictionaries. Now we learned that to iterate over numbers, we say for your variable name in the series, Remember first number dot, dot, dot last number. We have the stride function, which allows us to skip or increment or decrement our numbers. And then we have iterating over a specific data structure. You can just say the variable name in your data structure, whether that's an array or dictionary. And then there's an enumerated function, which gives us both the index and the value of our data structure. All right. That's it from my side, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.